Hello guys. So it's been a little while since we've put up a video, but um, it's kind of been a little bit of a waiting game um, on the fertility level, and since money's been a little tight, we haven't really done a whole lot. <laughs> but um, anyways, we are going to the fertility clinic today. Um, we're going to be figuring out um, when we are going to do the implantation today. And uh, we'll have a little bit more information to tell you after that. Well, and yeah, I guess that's what's going on so far. So we'll update you after the visit. So Haley has to go do some more ultrasounds. And uh, I think she's pretty thrilled about it. Yes. So I just got done at the fertility clinic. And they looked at my uterus and my ovaries and they measured them. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. And so we also talked about the timeline for our um, implantation. So we got the results from the fertility or from the genetic, genetic test, test. The genetic testing place. And so they sent the nine eggs over, or the nine embryos over. Yeah. Three of them were in excellent condition that we could use. Yeah, so we have three out of the nine that we can use. And of those three, we have two girls and one boy. Yep. Which is awesome. So, they had to sign the consent forms and everything for like how to, you know, what ones to use and everything so we signed the forms and we picked one boy and one girl and then they have that third one as a backup in case something happens yeah. and, and, if, and if everything goes according to plan we'll probably just keep that third one in storage and maybe use it later yeah so we can keep that second girl for later yeah so, I got the timeline and the schedule. It's actually a long, taking a lot longer than I thought. Yeah. So, the bottom line is our implantation day will be April 19th. So, we have to go on, I have to go on this birth control pill for like the rest of the month. And then I have to start some different injections. Basically, the nurse was saying that I have to do all of these medications to like trick my body into thinking that it's pregnant already. Well, well, that's when it's really close to being pregnant. Yeah. First, and they, I think you have to regulate yourself, and then you have to. Um, they want to like one of the medications to make your uterus really, really thick. Yeah, my lining thick, yeah. so it's good for implantation. It's not. It's not much sooner before the implantation you start tricking your body. Make yeah. anything it's pregnant, then they implant them, and then you're supposed to continue taking this medication that's a hormone that women who get pregnant normally produce it. But since we're not doing it normally, you're not producing it. So this hormone yeah. is the something that's necessary that she's not going to be producing. And so it's like super important that I like take these medicines. Yeah. Because if I don't take these medicines, like. It, it, the pregnancy, the pregnancy will fail. So, so very, it's very like important. super important pregnancy. Pills. I will tell you the names of them and everything later on.
prices get it done well, faster. I guess in our case, like you kind of had you had like a like a like a premonition, like you kind of like felt it in your head that like something was wrong. Yeah, I mean if it, we we should not have waited a whole year to figure out that we needed to do all this stuff. We because we could have had the kids like a year earlier if we had just. Basement. <laughs> We're not gonna even have a basement, make sure of that. <laughs>